Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. Well, if you're just joining us, the intensity has really heated up in this one. As we watch this one go now to overtime. And it's Chicago to start out, so the overtime period is now ticking away. Should be fun. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here, brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So for Chicago right now, they've got Peyton. Pippen is out there with Garnett. Then it's Russell. And it's Moncrief in at the two spot. And here is Jordan. After the three-pointer from Scottie Pippen, the drive by Jordan. Garnett with the block. Floats one up. Anthony with the block. Anthony on the wing. Shoots from the corner. And they will fall over the back on the play. And that's an aggressive play to try to get the rebound. Just a little too aggressive. And unnecessary. That's over the top. That's doing too much, Greg. He wasn't in good position there, and he was never going to get the ball. He just wasted a foul. Screen by Russell. Garnett kicks to Pippen. Can't hit. Parsons with some nice D. Toronto trails by three. The drive by Jordan. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Well, there's not a whole lot you can do about that, though. That's just good offense. They were all over him, and he still managed to drain it. Chicago calls timeout. We play just over a minute here in OT. Moncrief dishes to Pippen. Back to Moncrief. Deflects the pass. Parsons passes to Jordan. Shot clock at five. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. you got to keep getting him touches. Here's Moncrief out to Peyton. Plenty of space. Good. Nothing but net. He assists Sidney Moncrief. Toronto trailing. Here's Gasol. And a strong finish with two hands. Fellas, that two-hand monster slam was vicious. <laughs> I don't think there was anyone, and I mean anyone, that could have stopped him on that one. I tell you what, I'm glad they didn't try, because somebody might have got their feelings hurt. Jordan kicks to Anthony. It falls! This is what happens when you allow Carmelo Anthony to heat up. Here's Moncrief. 55 seconds left to play in the first overtime. Anthony with the clock. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for Chicago. Checking in the Chicago team. Michael Jordan. On defense, Toronto. It's good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Just such a good shooter from that range. And you factor in his height advantage. Uh, it's almost unfair. 
Gobert the screen. Here's Jordan. Yes! Well, Jordan has been fantastic. So, guys, it comes down to this. Time, Kevin, for the stars to shine. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Peyton up top, guarded by Jordan. Peyton drives in. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Two shots. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. And that's exactly how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Chicago calls timeout. They're losing by five. 12 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. Guys, what do you think? And you know what? And they're going to draw up something where they can get a quick shot and then maybe a foul. That's got to be the game plan here. I mean, free throws are really their only hope. Point with the clock stop. For three, Pippen. And again, Chicago. No good. And so they foul intentionally. At the line. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. Taking two shots. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Peyton outside. Here's Russell. And so it's Toronto winning this one. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. Yeah, when adversity was at its greatest, they came up big. They seemed to relax a little bit once we got into overtime. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And now, we present the Jordan Plate.